6S or 12S? What motor should I use? Confused on how to power your Kraken 580? No problem. I've tried a bunch of different setups in mine, and today I'm going to show you three different power setups for the Kraken 580. There are really two main ways that you can power the Kraken 580. You can either use a 6S power setup or a 12S power setup. And today I'm going to show you three different setups that you can use. Uh, for comparative purposes, I'm using the exact same helicopter for every flight, the exact same V-bar setup, and SAB 570mm main blades. So first up is going to be a 6S setup. I'm using a Lightning 4025 1120 kV motor with a 22 tooth motor pulley. This is the stock gearing with a uh, 6S power setup, so let's go see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, it flies pretty well on 6S. Uh, I think it's great for sport flying as well as some 3D flying like you just saw. One major benefit to 6S is the battery selection. All you need is a 6S 5000 milliamp pack. You probably already have some at home. If you have like a 12S uh, 700 size machine, you probably have a 6S 5000 laying around. Or if you have to get a new one, just about every battery brand these days makes a 6S 5000 milliamp hour battery. Overall, I would say that 6S is a great option for someone looking to do some sport flying and maybe some mild aerobatics without breaking the bank on a motor or batteries for their helicopter. So, now let's go take a look at a 12S power setup. So next up is 12S. I'm still using an Exnova Lightning 4025 series motor, except the KV is 560. I'm using a 24 tooth motor pulley and about 2500 RPM. So, let's go see what that looks like. So as you can see, this thing is just an absolute beast. Uh, 12S is obviously my preferred setup. It has basically unlimited power, so to speak. It's just an absolute animal on 12S. With the setup that you just saw, I get about three minutes of flying out of it. Uh, for reference, I'm using two 6S 2700 milliamp hour OptiVower batteries. Uh, for batteries, I would say stay between 2700 and 3300. The 3300s are really great if you're gonna run up to like 600 millimeter blades, but for 570s, I like to stick to 2700 because I think that's a good balance between flight time and flight performance. So what's the difference in the air? Clearly the first and foremost is the power. Uh, I think 12S puts out a lot more power, a lot more torque, a lot more grunt overall. When you really want to lean in on the pitch, 12S is just there. It just keeps putting out power. It won't really bog down as much. Obviously it kind of depends on your setup and your gearing and all that, but 12S is just an absolute beast. However with 6S, if you get a little heavy handed on the pitch, uh, it'll start to bog a little bit more. 
As far as characteristics go, I think 6S kind of feels a little bit lighter in the air, at least to me. Uh, if you come to a hard stop and want to switch and change directions, I think 6S does a little bit faster compared to 12S, but the difference is kind of negligible. So clearly for me, 12S is the way to go because I'm looking to get as much power out of my 580 as I can. But you know, it's it's all up to you. I mean, I've flown 6S for a really long time before and I loved it. I mean, it's, it's just kind of a different feeling, but right now I'm flying 12S and for me it's just it's the way to go. So the next comparison we're going to make is kind of an untraditional one. We're going to set up the Kraken 580 electric to have a similar amount of power to the Kraken 580 nitro. So on the electric model I have an Exnova Lightning 4020 1200 kV motor with a 19 tooth pulley and on the Kraken 580 nitro I have an OS50 hyper engine which is like 15 years old by now. Uh, they're both spinning 2180 RPM, they're both running about the same amount of pitch, same blades and same everything. So first we'll show you the electric and then we'll show you the nitro and then we'll come back and compare. Alright, so as you can see, the models kind of present similarly in the air. Uh, I think the biggest difference, which is no surprise, is that the electric doesn't bog as much compared to the nitro model. Like if you're doing sustained TikToks or anything like that, the electric just doesn't give up, where the nitro is going to eventually run out of power. Uh, it also kind of depends on your collective pitch management, but the electric is going to have more, more power behind it for if you get a little too heavy on the pitch. Overall in the air, I would say the nitro feels lighter. Uh, I think the power delivery of a nitro is not something you can get out of an electric, no matter how you set it up. I think an, a nitro kind of accelerates different, it flips and rolls different, it carries its weight different, like the CG is different. It, it's just kind of hard to compare the two of them together. But I think this gets it pretty close as far as power output goes. So on the electric, like I said, it's running 2180, the nitro is running the same RPM. The pop and the pull, they feel pretty close. but. The Nitro, I think, kind of wins in this category just because it's a little bit lighter and it just feels more nimble to me. As far as flight time goes, I think the Nitro still wins. I mean, it kind of depends on what batteries you're going to use on the electric setup. I can get about six minutes on the electric one, depending on how I fly it. And on the Nitro, I can get up like over 10 if you use the entire tank. So the Nitro wins in the flight time category, but you know, the, the electric has its benefit of not bogging. So if you want to get a little aggressive with the pitch, the electric is the way to go. So like I said, the electric is running an Exnova Lightning 4020-1200 kV motor. Now this is kind of uncommon for a, a 580 size machine because this motor is designed for a 500 size machine. Like it's the perfect match for a Goblin 500. But I put it into the Kraken 580 and it actually worked pretty well. Uh, this motor is great for someone who really wants to save their money on a motor because the 4020 obviously is a cheaper motor overall and if you want to save some weight. So at the end of the day, Nitro always hold a special part in my heart. I think between the, the 4020 setup 
and the Kraken 580 Nitro, I think I'd pick the 580 Nitro just because it's got the smoke, it's got the sound, it's got the feeling to it, so the Nitro wins on this one. But, you know, the, the 4020 setup, it's cool. You know, it's, it's not really the traditional motor. It's a cheaper, it's a smaller motor. It's not really even designed for the 580. So, if you're someone who's looking to run really low RPM or, you know, save a couple extra bucks when you're picking up a motor or just kind of get a different setup, you know, the 4020 motor might be something to look at. So with all of this said, it is abundantly clear that the Kraken 580 is an incredibly diverse machine. It can handle 6S, it can handle 12S, 570mm blades, 600mm blades, hard flying, soft flying, high RPM, low RPM, it can handle it all and it takes it like an absolute champion. So I hope this helped you guys pick out some setups for your 580. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.